Hi, this is Gareth Kentish, and today's video is really to show you how to integrate Wishlist into ClickBank as your main shopping cart. And to do this, you would need to log into your WordPress environment as an administrator and access the dashboard. And from there, you can click on the Wishlist plugin by the WL plugin button on the left hand side that you see here. So let's just do that. And when you do that, you're then presented with the configuration tabs that run along the top of the screen. And the one that we're interested in is the integration tab. So let's click on that. Now you do have other options of shopping carts that you can choose to integrate with, but I have chosen ClickBank purely because it's one of the largest libraries out there. So I'm just going to select ClickBank here. And what will happen now is that Wishlist will provide me with some, some essential information that I need to make note of as I'm adding my products into the ClickBank library. Now I'll mention two addresses here. Firstly, this one here shown in step one, which I now need to include in each of the product profiles that I add into ClickBank. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video very shortly. And secondly, the second website address that's used for each of the products or the levels that I set up within Wishlist and that will then allow me to create a shopping cart form so my customers can buy the products through Clickbank. So I think now is a good time to just show you now how to add a product into the Clickbank library. Let's do that. Now I've logged into my Clickbank account and I've accessed my products menu by clicking on the settings and then the my products tab here and you can see now that I've got a number of products registered already against my account now I'm going to go in and have a look at the first product just to give you an indication of where I then insert those website addresses that I mentioned previously and this is one of my first products and you can see that in the thank you page here and the mobile thank you page it's actually got the first website address that I've created with my integration using wishlist the other thing that's interesting here is I've actually called the item just one as in this case the first product and I've also included the sales page or the pitch page in this field here I've also indicated the type of product that I wish to sell through the Clickbank library by just ticking the boxes up at the top here. And once I've done that and I'm happy with the pricing and the amount that I wish to allocate to my affiliate partners, in this case 51%, then I click Save Changes. Now, it's important to note not to actually click what you will have is a green, a green button here for submission until you've tested the product and the process of buying over and over again. This is particularly important. Well, okay, well, let's put the theory to test and add a new product. And I do that by clicking the add new product button here. So let's do that. So now I'm going to type, follow the instructions here, and I'm going to say that it's an audio, it's a membership site, and it's an ebook type product that I wish to sell. And it's called African. Here, now the pitch page, well, that would be the first website address that's presented. And I've just gone back to my wish list member screen, which is shown here. If you remember earlier in the video, we created the link to Clickbank here in the integration and I'm now going to grab the first website address control C to grab that into computer memory move back to Clickbank and then I'm going to store it in the pitch page and I'm also going to use the same page for the mobile pitch page here and that's now been done now the thank you page will be a page that I create within the WordPress environment basically it will be a sales page so I'll just put in this case for the purpose of this example sales page african.com and again that will be the same page for my mobile offering here 
the currency well I'm electing to use US dollars and I'm going to call I'm going to create a price of four dollars ninety five it's got a default value for fifty one percent for my affiliated partners but I can override that and make that fifty the language that I'm going to sell the product in is English and the product title is called African ebook for example and if I'm happy with that I can then save those changes now it's vitally important that when you do make the changes you do not submit the product yet for approval until you've tested the product over and over again I've mentioned this before it's important that we get that right before going live and making it available to your customers so all I need to do now is click on this to save changes click now the other thing to note here when you create this product are two things really the item description that you've used and in this example we've used African and your Clickbank nickname and in this example it's called a money gen now just make a note of that because when we go back to the wishlist integration you'll notice that against each of the membership levels we have the item shown in red and publisher shown in blue so if I now grab the address here and I need to replace the red item with African and publisher with a money gen now let's see what happens when I do that so I'm going to go to my new tab and I'm going to first of all copy the address into the address bar in my browser and I'm going to replace item with African and replace publisher with a money gen click on enter and hopefully you'll find now that you've got the secure payment form being presented now obviously in this example it's shown as inactive purely because we haven't yet had the product approved but what it does mean when you start setting up your payment pages you will then put that link into those pages and it will create a form for your customers to fill in and link automatically into the shopping cart of Clickbank. I hope that makes sense and is helpful. My name's Gareth Kentish and thanks again for watching.